Hi, it's Jen from Shabby Fabrics. I recently filmed a video on how to use the Creative Grid face mask template to make face masks even faster and more accurate using the template. And in the process of making the mask, because the template does the small, medium, and large, I discovered that with the small size, it works perfectly for layer cakes. And isn't that fun? A layer cake, if you're unfamiliar, is 10 inch squares. There's usually a, a beautiful variety in the pack. This is the Kimberbell Basics. And look at all the pretty fabrics in there. You can imagine the possibilities are endless. So I just want to show you, if you're going to be using a layer cake, 10 inch squares, go ahead and grab the fabrics. And I've got an orange and a purple. Uh, I love having the mask have two different fabrics. One, front on the, uh, one fabric for the front, one for the back. This is Sunday Picnic. Um, we have limited amounts of those left, but that, that's another fun, really cute one. But let's go ahead. You would grab a ruler. This is 10 inches square. So I'm just going to cut this five inches. And I can cut multiples at the same time. No, no need to cut just one layer at a time. And I'm just going to go right sides together with my orange. This is amazing how much you will use up of this layer cake. This is so fun. I've got a nice clean edge here, right? So let's look at the ruler. We know, now it's not a ruler, excuse me, it's a template. The dash line on the innermost is my small. And I can place that in the corner. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If I had a spinning mat, in fact, I do have a spinning mat. I'm going to grab that. But if you don't, we have these tiny little Creative Grids rulers. Be sure you don't cut on your table if you don't have a rotary mat. At least pick up one of these as a minimum and put that underneath there. And now you have a protective self-healing mat when you're using a rotary cutter. I'm going to grab my spinning mat because I know if I'm buying a layer cake, right, I'm going to be making a bunch of these. And watch how awesome it is to be able to cut out my fabrics on my spinning mat. So see how my template, I have a 90 degree corner here. That's the beauty of having a layer cake. Everything's already been precisely cut for you. I'm going to make a slight rotation of the mat already, so it's just a natural curve. Now don't go really past this point because the next, this shape in here is going to be another one of these. We will be able to get another one of those on that other portion. And I went a little shallow there because I don't want to overcut. There's that. And they're perfect. I love that. Okay. I'm not even going to disturb my fabric. I'm just going to come into that extra. Look at that. How it just, when I've made this discovery, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can just imagine, um, you know, all the endless possibilities in combinations and so little waste. Look at that. So I've got two here and two here. Now to make it fun, I wouldn't put those on the front and the back. It's fun to put two different fabrics. So I would do the same process with my orange and cut those out and I again would get two sets. The orange could go on the back of this and the back of this. Or think about this. You can mix and match, right? One side's purple, one side's orange. It's fun, right? So just know that layer cakes are great when you're using the small size of the Creative Grid template. Uh, and you want to be able to maximize that layer cake. You can use the layer cakes if you want to use the other sides, but you will have a little bit of waste and you'll only be able to make um, half as many because you won't be able to maximize the layer cake as much. Now go to the full video to watch. Once we have this cut out, now what? How do we put that together? You'll be able to watch the full video to see the entire process and you'll be able to make cute masks that fit beautifully and in no time. So have fun and I'll see you on the full length video.